Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. And today's episode features the Cornish Orchard Cider Company. It's actually been quite a while since I've done a review from them, and they've overgone um, a new label design and everything, although it's not really new now, it's been around for quite a few months. But last time I did it, it was completely different label designs and completely different ciders as well. And I'm starting with their mixed fruit cider, aptly titled Cornish Orchard's Blush Cider. So, before we get around to tasting it and everything, let me go and give you the lowdown on Cornish Orchard's Blush Cider. Cornish Orchard's Blush Cider comes in 500ml bottles and it also comes in 330ml varieties too. The alcohol percentage is a pretty average 4% in volume and as with most uh, mixed fruit ciders it doesn't say anywhere if it's going to be sweet or dry tasting. And the price, as again, is um, pretty standard really. You can't buy them singly from the Cornish Orchard's website, only from uh, multi-packs, but they work out at around about £2.49 per bottle, which for this sort of stuff is pretty average really. Now, as I've said already, this is um, Cornish Orchard's mixed fruit cider, I guess you could call it. Hence the um, old pink hue and everything on the whole bottle and stuff. Pressed, blended and bottled at West North Manor Farm Cornwall. So we have a, well, <laughs> clues in the name really, we've got a Cornish cider. Do you know, I love it when ciders um, pay a little bit of attention to detail on the bottle. Especially when they do something like that and put, um, you know, a little bit of tape or something around there. It's just those nice little touches that make you want to, you know, make the cider more appealing and make you want to buy it a little bit more. On the back it says, Autumn's first ripe apple signifies the beginning of our cider making year. We create our intriguing and delicious ciders by working harmoniously with the seasons using 100% fresh pressed juice and the best traditional cider making practices. The unique character of our blush cider, an exceptional gently sparkling cider with the fruity aroma of fresh raspberries and a crisp dessert apple finish. A fruity, well-balanced cider served lightly chilled for those long summer evenings or as a celebratory drink in champagne flutes. So um, well, judging from that description, I reckon this is going to be a relatively sweet cider we have here, but then... I have been fooled before in the past, so let's go and crack this open. Now I know some people um, love to keep the tape and everything, but I'm not really um, a cap collector or anything, but if you did, then you know, this is quite a nice, you know, quite a nice little um, cap to add to the collection really. I like the old label design they've gone for, much better than their old one, it was a bit bland really, so good uh, label choice there. Let's see what I get um, on the nose. Man, well, strangely enough, that smells relatively dry. Um, but also quite fruity too. You are definitely getting um, a nice mellow hit of raspberries on the nose. But yeah, there's definitely some um, sort of like bittersweet apple notes too. That's quite surprising. I was expecting it to be a lot sweeter smelling anyway. I don't know. It might be different when I get it in the glass. You never know. So, uh, yeah... Looking forward to trying this one. Again, unlike the uh, Thatcher's Rosé I did last time, this is classed as a mixed fruit cider, so... You know, no fool in here. Don't think there's any sediment? Nope, there's not. Right. So, here's Cornish Orchard's Blush Cider. Very, very uh, lightly carbonated, as you can see, but um, it is relatively the same colour as uh, Thatcher's Rosé was. A slight pinkish hue to it, as you can see. To be honest, it looked a lot um, luminescent in the in the bottle. It seems to have um, kind of mellowed out a little bit. But yeah, in fact, there's hardly any carbonation at all. In fact, there's absolutely nothing now. So, well, let's go and get a whiff in the glass, see if there's any more smells. No, pretty much still the same smells as on the bottle. They're just um, even more mellowed out now. So I'm hoping it's going to be in the taste. So. Cheers guys, here's to Cornish Orchard's Blush Cider. Mmm. Mmm, that's rather nice. That's quite pleasant. Um, 
The, the word that I can describe this cider with is light. Um, like the Thatcher's Rosé that I um, did last review as well, this just tastes extremely light in all um, aspects. You're getting um, a very nice raspberry hit all throughout, and it kind of um, seems to be lingering on the throat as well. Let's get a second opinion. Hmm. Yeah, that is that is just about the right balance, actually. Um, the raspberry tastes aren't completely overpowering the um, slight bitter-sweet sort of apple tastes that you're also getting as well. Um, admittedly, it is slightly... Um, slightly there, the you know the raspberry above the apple taste. So you know if you like your you know your raspberry tasting drinks, this is going to be very very nice. As I've said, um, light tasting, but it's also um, light in texture as well. It also almost um, seems quite too easy to drink. Really, there's uh, there's no thickness to it at all, and obviously because this is um, you know made from 100% like fresh apples and everything, and hence a real cider. You're not getting any of that awful clogging up at the back of the throat that you get with, like, you know, your generic ciders or your alcohol pops or anything like that. So, that's another bonus to this. And, yeah, thankfully, the tastes are lingering about a lot. Um, the other raspberry tasting drink I had was uh, the Weston's Raspberry, which was another very nice one, but I did feel that the flavours kind of didn't linger around too much. Whereas with this one, they do seem to be staying around. So, um, let's get another one. Hmm. Yeah, it seems every sip that you take, there's, um, it's almost like the, the bittersweet, bittersweet apples and the, uh, the raspberries, they're having a little, uh, little jostle to see which one wants to come out on top each sip. That time it was the apples, but I mean, that, that, just shows that they've created the perfect balance of flavours. As I've already said, there's just nothing that's completely overpowering one or the other, like you do get with um, some of the more mass-marketed uh, mixed fruit ciders, which this definitely isn't. Uh, for all you, like, hardcore cider nuts out there, though, that, um, you know, don't really give mixed fruit ciders a try or anything, I don't know, this this one might appeal to you actually, a bit like um, Thatcher's Rosé as well. I know I keep on comparing it to that, but they are, you know, different drinks. But there is a lot in common here because it's a very enjoyable cider to have. Um, and I can just see anyone really enjoying this, you know, it's not, um, it, it hasn't got you know, too much flavour. There's no, like, overpowering oak notes or anything like that to, you know, drive um, people that are just starting to, you know, drink ciders, you know, to push them out of the way. But at the same time, there's enough flavour there to keep, um, you know, all the, you know, cider connoisseurs, I guess you could call them, you know, a little bit interested. So, yeah, as I said, the perfect balance. So, let's go and get a final taste before the final verdict, anyway. Hmm. Yeah, if I could just sum this up in three ways, it's light, it's, um, well, it's enjoyable for, well, I can see this appealing to, um, pretty much anyone out there, and to be honest, it's relatively cheap for this, um, for this sort of thing, you know, with, um, real ciders being around the £2.40, £2.50 mark, so... Yeah, I would highly recommend going out and uh, trying a bottle of this because it is very, very enjoyable. As for the rating though, I am going to go and give Cornish Orchard's Blush Cider a 7 out of 10. Um, admittedly, it's not the best tasting cider that I've had, but I mean, that's, you know, that's just pff, hardly anything really. If you like your mixed fruit ciders, definitely give this one a go because, you know, it's, um, you know, it's just definitely going to appeal to you. Um, but, if, as I said, if you're just like a hardcore cider nut, give it a go as well. You might be pleasantly surprised. So, that was another episode of the Cider Drinker for you. Hope you liked it. And, as always, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. But until then, I'm going to go and finish off this glass of Cornish Orchard's Blush Cider out. 
And you know what? I'm looking forward to trying the rest of the varieties out. So, take care guys, until next time.